This last week I shared some about the uh, dry toilet that we've created. And so today I'd like to share some about the propane vault. A lot of camper vans uh, utilize propane and you often see a, a five gallon tank just sitting loosely in the camper. And, uh, and clearly that's just a huge, huge risk. Uh, a lot of times people do have the, the small, you know, like one pound canisters and those are certainly more more safe to be loose but those big uh, barbecue tanks absolutely need to be in a, a vented vaulted box and so that's what I've built here uh, I've, I've built a number of these and I think the design from Far Out Ride is, is a pretty good design and so that's one of the things that I think they've done pretty well and so uh, I'll, I'll include the links in the comments uh, to a number of these things, but I'd like to just share with you what I've done. This box is uh, 16 inches by 16 inches by 19 inches tall. So that's the exterior dimensions. I've used uh, MDO plywood for this one also. My, my cabinetry mostly will be MDO, and so I, I like the, the smooth finish that it gives, and then it's also uh, waterproof to begin with, and so when you add a good coat of paint, it makes it uh, nice and smooth, and it's a it's a finished look that I that I appreciate. This uh, this cabinet needs to be uh, have a nice sealed edge, so I've added the weather stripping all the way around the edge, as well as hinges that are, are torsion style hinges, so that they uh, can hold it at a particular angle while you're loading and unloading. And then these kind of hinges, I don't even know what they're called but they're excellent for giving a nice tight seal that you want on a, on a vaulted box like this. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pull everything out so you can see uh, each part better. So it's a standard five, five gallon or 20 pound propane tank. And as I went to purchase the different portions, different connecting hoses and things, uh, it, was, it was difficult to find all the parts. And so some of the things you can find on Amazon, a lot of things because of supply chain issues aren't available. What I was really pleased by was my local Ace Hardware um, a lot of the parts that I tried so hard to find on the web were just available there. And so don't forget your local hardware store because they may, especially with plumbing related things, you know, to get this part that connects to this part, to, you know, and so on. So you've got your basic pigtail that you need to start with. And then that goes to a, a regulator. Uh, I'm running this with a, a propane heater and it doesn't need a dual stage regulator. And so a single works fine for this particular application. Um, a lot of the regulators are really cheap, though. And Marshall Excelsior, I think is how you pronounce it, um, is probably one of the best brands and has an excellent reputation for quality. And so you want to make sure you've got a good regulator. And then um, with a, a vaulted box, you want to make sure that you're sealing it on the inside so you want a bulkhead fitting and that's what this piece is right here uh, it's a 3 8 bulkhead fitting that then will go through the outside wall and then uh, we'll add some lovely uh, yellow propane tape to it and then seal it to the um, the braided hose and I've gone back and forth on the advantages and disadvantages of uh, a solid propane lines, copper lines that are, but, um, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the, the braided stainless steel hose 
especially when a vehicle like a, a camper van is bouncing down the road, the chance of this being uh, a good safe hose to use and then um, it comes pre-sealed, obviously you need to check your uh, leaks and so on with uh, soapy water or other uh, solutions that work for that and probably replace hoses like this maybe every five years that would be a really safe scenario but in, in my case it just goes directly to the propane heater that I'll use um, but to find a good uh, LP shutoff valve so that I can on the inside turn off the valve and then disconnect everything, pull the tank out, go to the place where I need to fill it up, and then put it back. As well as, I've made this tank, so the size I, I mentioned, that 16 inches by 16 inches by 19 inches tall, has enough room that in the corners you can put some of these smaller tanks, which are excellent as plan B when your big tank wears out. The, um, this box then will be mounted right near the, the slider door in my camper and then I'll have a one inch, whole, uh, one inch PVC pipe. The, the, the diameter of the middle of the PVC pipe will be one inch as far as the opening and that'll go straight down and I'll have an angle, um, an L-shaped vent that'll po poke towards the, the point towards the back of the van. And that way there will be uh, any um, potential risks of leaks and so on will go down and out and not um, hang out in the van. I think those are all the main points. I'm sure there will be lots of questions, but thank you. This is Dennis Littlefield from CampMaker.com. Bye now.